went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked i'm gonna give people the real for a second man um just to show people how authentic we keep it you know here on this podcast you know talking about moments of 2023 and everything like that and and to me it's the moment that i believe made us closer you know and everything because you know you're going to go through you know ups and downs just continue to learn and grow with each other you know sitting at this table every week together and um you know continue to learn and, and you learn who who paul p is and i continue to learn who cowboy is but um uh and, and i'm gonna just say you know um uh, one thing that i didn't take into account you know um when doing interviews and everything like that is that now i got an individual who's sitting here and who's a part of this podcast that you know uh may not be cool with this person and that person so it's always good to come to the table and have certain conversations uh, uh, about situations you know and everything like that and i think this is important to talk about because it's happened in our community a lot but it don't get resolved people just go their separate ways they never talk ever again in life and they don't know how to come together as men and say you know what hey this is the way i'm feeling this is the way i'm feeling um hey let's resolve it and move on you know but we had a situation just to be real you know um and and i'll say what happened um you know when i first started i had a list of maybe a hundred plus people you know on the list you know and everything like that you you was one of them that was at the top because of our love for nip our respect for the city coming from LA and everything like that. You was at the top, you know, um, but another individual we had on that list was was Nina Boy. You know, and and um, you know, um now I didn't really just to speak and be real, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I say, I'm a businessman. I my 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 childhood and my you know, teenage years, I was a little bit more in the streets, never banged though, you know, and everything like that. But you know, being a businessman never really knew the issues that was there, you know, and didn't know how deep it was and everything, you know. Um, but, you know, um, I did end up doing the interview and ended up telling you later about it. Um, you know, you wasn't feeling it, big bro, um, and everything. And, uh, you know, we kind of, like, had a little bit of, you know, issues after that with it happening, you know. Um, but one thing that I want to say about that whole situation was that I put that on me as an individual, and I think that the, the people need to see this right now. I put it on me because I should have did more research. I should have knew more of what was going on because you sitting at this table with me, you were you respecting the podcast and and sitting next to me. We we became brothers, you know, not not just not just friends and homies. I I would say brothers. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So I should have did more research and said, "Hey, you know, is, is, is this cool when it come down to this person or that person?" Even though y'all not sitting at the table together, I should have did my research more because after you explained your side from the situation, I got it. I got it, you know. Yeah. Now, it don't have to have anything to do with me, but because now we brothers and you sitting at the table, we should talk about things like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody to ever bring no bad energy up in here that's going to then put your life in a negative place. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Got you know, and everything like that. So um, I just wanted to speak on that and say again, bro, I apologize for that situation yeah. of doing that without, you know, really, really breaking it down and having a conversation with you about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I just wanted the people to hear and see that because I wanted them to know that it haven't always been cookies and cream yeah. when it come down to me. We yeah. had situations and yeah, issues, yeah, yeah. but we here today and it's nothing but real love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Yeah, I mean, you know, I seen a couple things and I was feeling some type of way like, I never want us to look watered down like the rest of everybody else. You know what I mean? Uh, I felt once I was over here, like, like we could talk about these clowns. These clowns, they just trying to get get their little likes. They just so don't put them on our platform. You know, mm -hmm. if you gonna get it, get it somewhere else. You know what I mean? That's just how I felt. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was just it was just your bad on not doing the homework just because. Uh, he was just reckless with his mouth, you know, he was too reckless, you know what Gosh. I mean? You know, all I said was take a fade. So once you start getting reckless at the mouth and, and start talking beyond that, then it is what it is, you know? It's like uh, Nip, Nip had a saying, he just said, say no more, you know what I mean? So certain people say enough, it's like, all right, say no more, you know? Yeah. There's really nothing for me to say, you know? I see you when I see you, you know? Uh, say no more, you said enough, nothing for me to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I left it at that. Like, you know, certain individuals, like I said, I don't have a I don't have I don't have a problem with sitting down with nobody, you know what I mean? Sitting across the table with nobody. You know, uh anybody I talk about or say something about, I'm, I'll go sit across the table and say the same thing. You yeah. know what I mean? So uh certain individuals, I ain't going for that. If you uh if you claiming uh, 
the neighborhood or you claiming whatever where you where I'm nothing but a phone call away. You ain't got no business on social media hollering at me yeah. about nothing. You know what I mean? That's total violation off the dribble. If you if you bang in my hood or you bang in uh, accessible hood and you on social media talking about me, you on violation. So you know what I mean? So I'm gonna hold you to a different standard than I do an enemy or a, you know somebody that really don't know me. Mm -hmm. you, you banging what I'm banging, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. You, there's no reason you can't make the phone call and pull up, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hold them type of people to a different standard. I had to show them that I wasn't